So to start the um, hull of the boat, um, you need to just right mouse click on where it says synchronous and go transition to ordered. Um, just because it's sort of that little bit more complex, um, it's probably better to do it in ordered. And we'll start by creating this sketch of the um, end. So if we just choose, hover over this plane here. And we'll probably need to zoom out, but we'll start with the line and start at that point down there so as as we draw um, as we draw um, you see the length is on the cursor so we can put in the 1200 and if i hit tab it will take us over to the um, 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 angle so we want to say that'll be 20 degrees, that'll be 160 degrees from the uh, Y axis. So if hit enter there, that defines that um, initial line. So the next one comes down, um, this one's 200 mil, and um, we'll say minus 160. And then we'll come up and this one will be 1200 again and the angle will be 110 so we're sticking with the 20 degree um, entries okay um, i've got my intellisketch options here set to dimension when you key in a value so um, it's added those dimensions for us you may not necessarily have those um, so you'll probably find that um, they will need to be entered separately um, so if I just delete one of these just so you can see how it's done um, go on smart dimension click on the line and then if you hold the shift key down that rotates it to the orientation of the line and likewise if I click on it again I can go to the angle and that gives me the angle I'm in here same on this one um, I can hit the A key as well which will give me the same thing and then depending on which way you um, bring that out defines which sort of angle you're going to get so that's defined our sketch for us so when we've finished we can hit the um, close sketch command and finish that profile so we now need to start doing the curves on which it's going to follow so if we go and create a sketch and we'll do the um, one for the front um, if i hold the um, shift and control and right mouse button down i can pan across and to start off with, I'm going to draw some um, construction about which to work with. So the length needs to be 10.1 meters. And you need to make sure that that's horizontal. And then um, just moving over here, we can see the end point. So that height is just over 14 or 1.45, 1.47. So if we go to um, say 1700 for that overall height and up here we've got the construction so we convert those two lines to construction elements and we will dimension those um, we can use the dimensions later to um, adjust the size of it and we will use the line command coming off that top point here and we'll bring it out uh, we want it three meters from that end so we'll make it seven one hundred and if i either go here to the arc command or hit the a key that will come out tangent from that point that i put in we can go to the end point there, right mouse click to finish, and 
we can um, close this sketch. So now that we've come out of here, um, let's just name this sketch. So we'll call it um, deck front sketch. And then we'll do another one on the plan. So this time uh, we will go with a arc by three points coming off the outside edge and again we should be able to pick up off that same point we had last time and I won't worry too much about that arc for the moment uh, we can redefine that later and then we'll go to a tangent arc And that's going to come out to meet that endpoint. Like so. So if we um, close that sketch. And we'll call this deck plan sketch. Cancel that. And now if we go to the surfacing command, we've got what we call a cross curve, which is the intersection of the two um, curves if you were extending them up and across. So click that one, right mouse click to accept it. Click that one, right mouse click to accept. And there is our um, deck line cross curve. So cancel that and we can hide these two sketches just so that we're sort of not really um, getting too bogged down in, in the detail. Now we want to do the same for the, um, the chime coming from in here. So if we go in and um, create a sketch, again we just use the front plane. We could have drawn it in the same one but um, just, just sort of so we keep them all separate. Um, we just want to come off, just rotate that around. We want to come off the bottom of here. So if we take that line there, um, down here we've got sketch view, which will take us back to where we started. And um, if we come in, uh, no, arc is not what we want. We want a up by three points so we come off that bottom one and again we should be able to either grab that which should give us somewhere around the three meter mark and again drop a curve in there and we will do a tangent arc Coming up to, let's just turn that first one on. So we'll come off that same line there. And finish that. So we're coming off that inside point there. And we'll call this uh, Lower hole front sketch, and then we'll do another one on the plan. So, again, just if I hold the um, scroll wheel down on the mouse, we can see that we want to come off that point there to get the same thing. So if we do a uh, three point arc, picking up off that point, and then go back to our sketch view. And again, we should be able to pick up that point there, have an arc coming in, and then go back to our tangent arc 
come off that end point. And close the sketch. To lower hull and sketch. You don't have to name it, but um, it just sort of makes it easier to find what you're looking for in the um, tree. So again, we can go back to our surfacing and do our cross sketch. And we want to take that one and that one. So that then builds in our edge here. And we've got to name it so we can right mouse click and go to rename okay we need to turn off these other sketches um, now if we want to we can go back to this sketch here so if I right mouse click and go edit profile um, not quite sure what that um, bottom profile is going to be but we need to draw that in so I will just go with a three point arc coming off that end point coming out to about here just drop a little bit of a curve on there and then go back to our tangent curve and bring that up to meet there And then we can go finish. So you can go back and edit anytime. So now we've got that sketch changed, what we can do is we can actually use these curves to build the surface. So if we go in our surfacing command, we can go to a bounded curve. And let's rotate this around so that we can pick up on the correct options. So this, this needs to be single. So we just need to go around and define the curves that we want to build our um, surface around and again we're using a combination of sketches and when that finishes you can see that we've got this nice um, curve in here um, to finish with so just um, right mouse click to accept it and then just finish and then that turns purple to show that you've got that um, nice curve in there okay so as you can see we've um, got the um, line here curve here sorry um, duplicated so what we can do is we can just go back and um, edit that and the second element here um, because we set it to chain, um, it's extended out as we've built in that extra piece of geometry. So if I hold the shift key down, I can deselect this. Um, initially, we probably would have been better off to just go with single selection. And that comes back with um, that single curve, which doesn't affect what we're doing at the moment. But, um, yeah. So now we need to go in to sketch and do the chine so um, if we go so we're going to want to come off this bottom line here um, so we want to take the um, front plane And if we hide that, so we'll have a curve by three points. So we'll come off that point there. 
and I'll just sketch something in to start off with. And then what we'd like to do is make sure that we have a connection from that endpoint out to that point there. And then if I um, just come back in here and just pull that out to give us that little bit more of a curve. Again, you can fix that. And we will name this And then we need to do the same on the um, plan view. So this time we're going to come off that edge there. And we'll connect that back in again. And pull that in. So um, let's just change the name of that. And then we want to go back to our surfacing and draw a cross curve between that one and that one there. So that gives us our point in here. And then we can do our bounded surface on these items here. So we now have the um, two surfaces to come in. Now, um, because we haven't got a nice clean transition around here, um, we might need to do some extra work to um, just break this outside piece into um, two. So let's just um, hide these other sketches and as I said before we need to sort of break this into two pieces because um, the surface won't come in cleanly. Um, what I would like to do is use a 3D sketch. And we will use the 3D arc by three points. So I can start by um, coming along here and getting that point there. At the moment I'm free, free form in any direction. But I can actually um, lock it to that plane. Get that point there. And um, if I go to my right hand view, um, I can just specify what sort of radius I want to have on, on that outside hull. So that's the format that it's going to take. So let's close that 3D sketch. And then we can go back to our bounded curves and we can use that 3d curve that I've just created um, we want to come off this edge here and this one
and the same on this one here so we can come here here and here and that gives us a much cleaner um, join than we had um, in the previous version so you can see that we've we've sort of finished that um, so let's just hide our um, other sketches so we're just left with those um, surfaces now we want to stitch them together and we'll just take the defaults on that and we'll just click and hold down fence select and that creates us a single surface um, which we can use and now we can um, thicken that so under under the home um, here we've got the option to thicken I'm not sure how thick it's going to be but uh, we can use body and I've said six mil but that could be um, bigger so you can say which direction you want to take it so we'll bring it inwards and that just thickens that surface into a, um, a solid as shown and then to finish off um, we have the option here to mirror copy part and you pick that and the plane about which you want to mirror it and there's your completed hull.